Greetings adult collectors, I am Crash the Customizer, doing something a little bit different than my usual videos. So usually I'll do videos on customs that I've actually just taken a figure, completely repainted it, remolded it. So this one is actually what I call a modified figure. The difference between a modified and a custom is the fact that I didn't really do a lot to this figure to make him like a totally different figure, but rather just kind of repainted some things and added a few things to him. So, this is a Transformers Legacy Animated Optimus Prime. And this figure is like total nostalgia for me. Because Animated is actually the series that got me introduced into Transformers. And then Transformers Prime is what got me reintroduced into Transformers. But, since Animated was the first Transformers series I ever saw, it definitely holds a very special place in my heart. So, this was already a pretty good figure, and actually quite an improvement from the original, because I did have the original Optimus Prime, the original Voyager, but like the legs of this twist thing, and it was supposed to be the gimmick, and kind of hindered it, and this figure is just kind of a lot, lot more posable. The only thing I kind of wish they would do more Optimus Primes that the original figure had was the little gimmickry flip on the, the back of the head and his face shield will come up. I really wish more Optimus Primes would do that, but anyway. And that's also what this kind of fig this figure here lacked was the option of having the face shield, which is nothing I, one of the things I actually fix in this because I bought a second one of these to make into another custom, which I will be showing off later. And that's going to be a while, because I'm doing this by show that I've watched, so then I, Animated was what I started with. I'm working on Animated. I plan doing Prime after Animated, Robots in the Skies, and then so on. So, so it'll be in a whole another set of videos for a whole different time. So right now, what I want to do is show you what I did to my Optimus Prime. So basically, I did just a little bit of repainting. I just added just... Of course, the little bit of yellow on the headlights here. I added just a little bit of black paint on the kneecaps. I added some gray on the rims. And I added, of course, the little bit of yellow right here that was lacking on. So as far as repainting, that's really about all I did with it. But the big highlight of this are these. So this is my standard posable hands assembly I make, where you have completely posable fingers. You can do all things fingers can do and fall off. <laughs> anyway, put that back on there. And then, of course, you have your thumb. And how this attaches is the original ball joint. I just cut off the other hand for the other Optimus Prime, because I, I made a whole different hand assembly since it's a whole different figure. So, because I tried to do what I did with that one, which really is kind of weird. Like, I was able to use Lego ball joint for that one, but then it didn't work for this one, which I don't get that. But anyway, so I just cut off the ball joint because I didn't need that one for that. So, pop off the hand. We're just going to open up his hand assembly here. Pop out this hand. And then pop in this hand here. And it doesn't close all the way, but it does the job. It looks pretty good. So now we can have him pointing. Look like he's ready to give a speech. You, gotta, you still kind of give him a close fist, but these hands cannot hold the weapon. I'll bring in the other one I have since I have a second weapon for Optimus. And I'll show you these don't really hold the weapon. It just doesn't. So because of that, that's kind of why I actually wanted to keep the actual hands that the figure came with so that way he's able to hold his weapon and of course you can totally do this if you wanted to we'll go ahead and pop this one back out we'll pop this one back in and we can have him wielding two axes just because not that you ever did that in the show but hey there you go there's almost prime with two axes, if you're wondering what that looked like. So go ahead and pop this hand back in. 
Now, the other thing that I added was I took the other head from the other Optimus Prime that I had and I painted it the same way, but then I molded a little Play-Doh right here to make the face shield and then painted it gray. And to swap off the head, all I simply have to do is just come here and just pull the face off and leave that very disturbing image. Let that haunt your nightmare. <laughs> That's a little creepy. But I mean, Optimus Prime does this to other people, so now we're doing it to him. Payback. <laughs> anyway, so we take this and just pop it right on there. And now he has his face shield and he's ready for battle. Now, this is the only part that you can actually keep on to transform. I do actually have to also use the factory hands to actually make him transform because there was really no way to make this tuck in the same way. But, I mean, really, I don't mind that because, I mean, really, what these really are, like having this one and then this one here, is kind of like, um, just like hand accessories, like, like with Marvel figures will sometimes have that. Just, it's not necessarily like you're just taking the hands off, popping on, you know, accessory hands that can hold things and all that. So that's kind of what this really comes down to with the hands for this figure. So just some figures, it's kind of hard to actually make the hands transform with the figure. So you can't actually transform Optimus with the new head, but you can transform it with the hand. So I'm going to pop out his hand and pop this hand back in. The only reason this really works because it doesn't really add anything to it. I mean, really, you can see it's just it's the same same thing. It's just the same head. Only thing it just has a little face guard sticking off, so it doesn't really affect anything. There's plenty of room in there. So I mean, you don't have to you know put on. I don't know, actually have to have put this head back on to transform it. So transformation is exactly the same. I'm going to take out his axe. And we're going to open up his forearms here, collapse in his hand, collapse in his hand. Oops. Like I said, there's really no way to actually have this collapse up in there, but it's all right. So then what we're gonna do is open up his chest, open up this back section, and we're going to. Rotate his arms around. We're going to collapse his arms up so we can form the sides of the cab here. And then get this tab to line up into here, which is kind of hard to do, but we get lined up just right. So we're going to rotate the arm, get that tab in, and we can lock this section here together, lock in the front, take the back section, lock it up, and become the top of the cab, and then rotate his waist around, and it'll tab into these sections. Then we're going to open up his legs here, just going to untab that, Flip that around, and then his feet will peg into these holes. Open up the leg, up the foot, collapse the feet to. Oops, that'll pop it off. Okay. Collapse the feet into the pegs, and just accordion fold it up. Tap those legs together everything's lined up correctly and there we have him in his vehicle mode I didn't really do a lot of repainting the vehicle mode I mean of course the wheels I painted these sections gray kind of give it a little bit of detail added I painted these yellow to kind of get the of course the show accurate look to him and then I also painted his tail lights in and I really like this vehicle mode for Optimus Prime. Usually for Optimus Prime we see just like a box truck or 
even a semi truck, you know, your standard ones. But the whole idea of being a fire truck, I think, is pretty cool. Because really, Transformers Animated was kind of like the precursor to the Transformers Rescue Bots, honestly, if you think about it. And I kind of like that. Transformers Animated was a pretty good show. I really wish it could have had more seasons, but there's a lot of shows that really deserve more seasons. I don't really get it, unfortunately. But, yeah, this figure is just complete nostalgia for me. And to actually have an updated figure that's actually a lot better than the original makes me really happy to actually own this. Because this is a really, really good figure. The only thing I don't like is I kind of wish they could have done something different with the feet and maybe had it like the original figure where they'd be here and just, you know, fold like, down or something maybe. But it's not too bad. Um, I do wish it would have came with the trailer section that comes back here for like the rest of the fire truck. But I guess there is a third party that's going to be making that and I probably will get that honestly. Depending on how much it costs, I'll probably buy that. But, yeah. Pretty good figure. And I definitely think it looks better after I've repainted things. And you can see, we'll open up the second here, you can see this really doesn't affect information at all, having the little mouth guard head. And now he's back. It's kind of hard sometimes to get some of the things lined up just right so they'll pop in, but... It is a pr an improvement from the original, because the original wasn't a bad figure. I mean, I liked it, and it was like one of my favorite Optimus Prime figures I ever owned. But it definitely had some issues with the, like I said, the gimmick that it was trying to kind of make it like a little thing. Or since it was kind of more like the original was more for like kids, because maybe while I was watching Transformers Prime, I was like five when the show came out. So, it kind of makes sense that it was kind of, you know, like that. And, of course, it's kind of nice because this updated version is kind of like the adult version for me now. Because now I'm a 23-year-old man that buys Transformers. So, to have a more updated and more, like, adult-centered version of the Anime Ops Prime is just really, really cool. But yeah, so now with two axes, I guess you could, both of the axes, you could totally do something like this. I mean, it looks a little odd, but uh, <laughs> you can have him roll out like this and go in like that. I don't know. <laughs> and how I usually display my Optimus is I will have the axe in his hand that is kind of splayed like this. I'll kind of do something like this, put him in a real heroic pose. And I usually display them on my shelf like this with my other Autobots. For a little size comparison here, we'll bring in my Megatron. And then here's how he scales with my custom animated Blitzwing. And those figures look pretty good together. Here he is with Lugnut. Here he is with Long Arm. And then here he is with Shockwave. Obviously, Shockwave is bigger because Shockwave is a leader class. That is it for my Legacy Modified Optimus Prime. Like I said, this isn't what I usually do with my videos. Usually I make customs that are actually figures that don't exist that I actually just repainted and remolded. But I, I do have a lot of figures like this that aren't really like just you know completely new figures. They're just literally just repainted and given hands. So I was going to have to do this eventually, so I thought I'll start with my Optimus Prime. And I do have some more, like, actual customs on the way. I have some more animated figures. I actually have a lot of animated figures planned I'm going to do. So the first three videos are going to be three modified figures. They're just figures with hands added and things like in a few repaints. And then 
the fourth figure will be a custom and then all the figures after that will be some customs so i hope you like this video i know it's not what you're used to seeing but don't worry there will be more customs on the way and if you'd like to see more videos like this or see my custom videos please like and subscribe to my channel and until next time this is crash the customizer out there's something different about you prime i just can't quite put my finger on it perhaps it is that i have fingers now Oh, that's not it. There's something else. Ah, you're referring to my face guard. I want to protect my face. Protect your face? Don't you mean hide your face? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that you're ugly? Oh, you're one to talk, Buckethead. Oh, you did not just go there. Yes, I did. So we're going to fight Megatron or we're going to talk about how we look. Fair point. Don't you have something to say before this? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Oh, oh, right. Yes. One shall stand, and one shall fall. You, Optimus Prime, even with your stupid face guard. We shall see about that, Megatron.